um, oh. yeah, can you see the screen now? Yes, I can. So last time we have discussed on accounting equation, if you remember. Yes. Right. So can you mm -hmm. tell me what was that equation? If we have noted it down. Um, I actually didn't write it down, but then I kind of, I didn't write it in my book. So I can't find that anymore. Try, try to recall that accounting equation. What, um, was, it, what it was expenses plus assets assets plus expenses assets e plus the expenses yes is equal to uh what? equal to uh liability liabilities plus, plus, plus uh capital plus principal capital. capital and one more thing we will add and that is a revenue that is also sources of funds agree revenue. yeah so this was our extended accounting equation or we can call mm -hmm. it accounting equation yes and uh, this one is uh, yeah just let me remove the grids and yeah, now it is clearly visible right yep so this is our accounting equation and uh, this is which side liabilities capital and revenue are on which side credit credit side good yeah okay and actually it is on the right hand side and right hand side is known as credit side debit. and assets and expenses are on which side left which is debit debit side and they are on left hand side and left hand side is known as debit, debit. right yep. and whenever there is an increase in assets and expenses what we will do whenever there is increase increase in expenses then we go to the right uh, we go to the left so it's increase debit, in debit. debit increase in assets increase in assets and expenses means always we will do debit, debit. right yeah. and de decrease in asset and expense means uh, credit credit opposite side we have to do and the yeah. rules are just opposite to the rules what we learned with regard to assets and expenses so whenever there is increase in liability capital and revenue what we will do uh credit yes increase in liability capital and revenue means credit and decrease in liability capital and revenue means debit debit good so it means this entire accounting is based on this accounting equation mm -hmm. and you you have understood increase and decrease right yeah okay so now we will today we will understand the accounting process actually okay yeah. accounting process and it has several stages one two three four five just a minute. Huh? Yeah, so see, can you see these accounting process steps? You please yeah. take in, uh, take the notebook also, right? Yeah. So what is the first step in accounting? Identifying. Identifying. Second step is? Recording. Recording. Third one is? Uh, classifying. Classifying. Fourth one is summarizing. Fifth one is analyzing. Mm -hmm. Sixth one is interpreting. And the seventh one is communicating. And yes. these, these all the steps we will do with regard to financial data. Just in the yep. previous demo class, I have explained to you what do you mean by financial data, right? Yeah. 
So identifying means we will identify which financial data we are supposed to record and which we are not allowed to record. Yep. In, in this only we will identify. There are certain mm -hmm. events in the business. So which we will record and which we will not record that we need to identify. So mm -hmm. let's revise that question, uh, that point once again. Can you okay. in front of identification read out the first line, this highlighted part? Uh, quantification of business transactions into financial terms by using monetary units such as dollar. Hmm. That is the definition of this identifying. Okay. okay. Now okay. see the example. Read out this example. Purchase of furniture for 5,000 will be recorded whereas appointment of a new managing director singing signing of contracts are not shown on the books so understood if you are appointing yeah. a managing director if you are signing a contract all these are important for the business but all these we are not allowed to record because mm -hmm. we are not able to quantify these events in terms of uh, dollar in terms of uh, money isn't it mm -hmm. so we will yeah. record only this purchase of furniture only this we will yeah. this will be recorded and the remaining part is not allowed to record. The reason why? Mm -hmm. Because we are not able to quantify these events yeah. in terms of money. Isn't it? Yeah. So identifying, I hope understood. Yep. Okay, we need to, whenever there is a transaction, we need to identify whether it is financial data or non-financial data. If it is financial data, we will record it. And if it is non-financial data, no matter how important that is for the business, we will not record that. Got it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. What is the second step? Recording. Recording. Now, the moment we identify any financial data, immediately we will record that. Mm -hmm. Get my point? Immediately, yep. it will be recorded in the books of accounts. So today, this yep. recording part, part we will understand. So recording usually we do in, a, a, let me write in the same file. So see recording. This is the second step. After identifying, we will record it. Yeah. Can you see the whatever I wrote? Is it vis visible yeah. clearly, right? Yep. Yeah. So, recording, either we will record in a, a journal. This is the first step in recording. Okay. Yeah. Either journal or books of prime entry. Books of prime entry. I have understood this. Where yeah. we will record? You, you, suppose you, you movies. Movies are recorded where on CD drive, right? Pen drive. They are stored, na? Yeah. If you want to store any song, so where you will record? Yeah. Where you will store that? Either in pen drive or uh, cloud online, Google Google Drive. Yeah. Somewhere you will store, na? Yeah. The same thing, transaction, business transaction. Where you where you will record? Where you will store? Either you will store in journal or where books of prime entry. Prime entry. Got it? Yeah. And after that, we will do prepare ledger. So ledger, ledger, I will explain you what is the purpose of this ledger. Okay. So today we are focusing only on books of primate. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. first let me tell you what is the difference between journal and books and primate. Both are of same stage only. Ledger we will discuss later. Usually in yeah. school, we start with ledger actually. Okay. But that is not the correct way. First, always we need to understand journal. Yeah. If you see your textbook, journal entries, the chapter journal entries, you will see after uh, like seventh, eighth yeah. chapter, you will see journal entries or probably yeah. later. But first, we need to understand this journal. Then only later we need to understand. But in okay. IGCIC, directly, you know, teachers are teaching later. But that is not the correct way, actually. Yeah. So first we need to learn a journal and books of prime entry. Then I will explain you how to develop ledger. Okay. Got it? Yep. Okay. So now, so let me show you the format of a journal. So date, detail, debit amount column, credit amount column. 
<coughs> first column is always for date details debit amount column and credit amount there is one more column uh, ledger folio that we will, i will discuss later on right now i skipped that column yeah okay so whatever we usually follow in exam that format i am explaining so how many columns are there date first column second column is details third is debit amount column and fourth is credit amount column right mm -hmm. okay so this is the format of journal so in middle i will write a journal yeah and what is the use of journal to record yeah, yeah. journal yeah. is the first step the moment you uh, do any transaction in business immediately you will record it somewhere and that somewhere yeah. is what journal only the first book yeah. j o you are a journal okay so journal is also known as the book the books. book of prime entry books of original entry original original entry means first time first time you are recording the transaction in journal journal is a one type of notebook yeah. right okay now uh, as i told you what is the difference between journal and books of prime entry journal actually you will maintain small businesses small yeah. businesses why small businesses because they have number of transaction more or less they have more transactions uh, or less number less. of transactions yes less number of transactions right yeah so they just maintain only one notebook only one notebook and that one notebook is known as what journal yeah. but imagine the business is big yeah. big business now big business tell me number of transactions will be more right yeah more in that case one journal is not enough one yeah. notebook is not enough you need to buy several notebooks 1 2 3 4 5 6 notebooks you need to buy yeah okay so <clears throat> and those six notebooks are collectively known as what books, books of, of prime ent understood the difference yep journal means only one notebook and books of prime entry means six notebooks and who will maintain okay. these six notebooks a small business or big business big business big business a small business only just maintain one notebook and that one notebook is known as journal yeah right so journal who will maintain journal will be maintained in small businesses and books yeah. of prime entry in large businesses where number yeah. of transactions are numerous many transactions yeah. are conducted on daily basis so one mm -hmm. notebook is not enough they need to maintain several notebooks and those several notebooks are collectively known as books of prime entry right yeah i hope it's, a, it's not necessarily six right it's it can be any number no usually usually six oh okay in due course we will learn this uh, name of these books right okay like you have you are maintaining notebooks for different different subjects na yeah one notebook for maths another notebook for science geography like yeah. gp accounting so different uh, notebooks for different purpose so uh -huh. in coming time we will discuss that right mm -hmm. okay so right now we are discussing only on journal any doubt mm -hmm. so far no nope. no now see i am conducting transaction okay i will do transaction business and you will think yourself what on uh, business not the owner you are the business with that view you will do the recording okay you are not the owner you are the business actually we are maintaining these records for the business not for the owner so my first yeah. transaction 2022 jan 1st commenced business with cash dollar 10000 i started business this is my first yeah. transaction jan second let me record those transactions okay second yeah purchase furniture for cash 
डॉलर वन थाउजेंड थर्ड वन जैन फिफ्थ लेट मी डू परचेज गुड्स फॉर कैश डॉलर टू थाउजेंड जैन सिक्स पेड कैरीज डॉलर टू हंड्रेड जैन सेवन Let's take sold goods for cash. Dollar two twenty five hundred. Okay, how many transactions I have done? One, two, three, four, five transactions. Now see how okay. these five transactions will be recorded in this journal, one notebook. Okay, we will yep. do the an analysis before we record this. We will do the analysis. Okay, so what is yep. the first transaction? Please read out. First one was a uh, common business with cash. Yes. So you are a business. You are a business, right? So what yep. happened in the business? You got money. Yep. And who gave you this money? Uh, the owner. Yes, correct owner. Can you see? I have written on the screen. As a business, yeah. you are a business. You got cash, and who gave you money? Owner. Okay. Now, cash is which category? Accounting equation, you remember, na? Cash yeah. comes in which category? Uh, cash is an uh asset. Good. Cash is asset, and owner is actually capital. Uh, capital. Capital. Owner invested money, na? That is known as what? Capital. So these are the yeah. items affected. These are the category. Now tell me, in business, asset in increasing or decreasing? uh decreasing in business cash is increasing oh in business uh it's increasing i told you now always consider yourself as a business business point of view you have yeah. to learn yeah. okay yeah. are you getting my point yep yeah so increase in asset asset increasing now what is the rule increase in asset what we will do step it Good increase in asset debit, and decrease in asset. Oh, sorry. Now capital capital is also increasing now in business. Yeah. You owe money to the to the owner, right? You are a business. Owner gave you money. Now you owe yeah. that money to the owner, isn't it? Yeah. If if I give you money, definitely you owe that money to me, right? Yeah. So same thing here. Bus owner invested money in the business. Now business owe that money, and that money is known as capital. So capital increasing or decreasing? Yeah, it's uh, capital is decreasing. Increasing. Oh uh, yeah, because before investment, uh, how much you owe to the owner before investment? How much you owe to the business? And uh, before investment, zero. Zero. But now you owe, na? Yeah. How much? Ten thousand. Yeah. So capital increasing, credit. Got it? Yeah. Increase in capital, yeah. credit. So so these are the items. These are the category. And after applying rule, we identified that which account will be debit and which account will be credit. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. So see now I will record. So twenty twenty two Jan first. So first always I will record debit item. Which is the debit item here? Which one is the debit item? Uh, debit item is cash. So I will record cash account. Cash A oblique C means account debit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now leave some space. Now which is the credit item? Cap owner. Uh, capital 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 we have to write actually we never write owner. Yeah. Okay, I will write capital. Yeah. The capital actually represents the money invested by the owner, right? It is owner's yeah. account actually. It is representing to the owner. So cash debit, mm -hmm. so debit item ten thousand, and credit also ten thousand. Done? Yeah. And mm -hmm. a small, a small description we will write after the recording. A small description we will write. Mm. Okay. Business. Come next. Nice. That's all. And this is small description is known as what narration. Narration. Known as what? Narration. Narration.
okay so this and this debit and credit item i have entered it is known as entry the entire thing is entry and the sort description after debit and credit item is known as narration i hope understood mm -hmm. okay now what is the second transaction tell me uh purchase furniture for cash 1000 now tell me which two items affected um cash cash and and asset no Second furniture. item, furniture good. Now tell me their category. So cash is asset, good. furniture is also asset. Good, both are asset, asset. Now tell me which is increasing, which is decreasing. Cash is decreasing, furniture is increasing. Good, increase in asset, debit, decrease in asset, credit. credit. Understood everything. You know yes. you up anything. Everything is based on logic. Asset yeah. is increasing, increase in asset debit. We'll have learned that rule, right? Yep. And decrease in asset credit. Yep. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just a minute. So now tell me what recording you will do. First, I'll write the date, which is Jan 2nd. Okay, wait, let me write. Uh, Jan 2nd. Good. Then, and first, uh, I'll record debit item, right? Yeah, so furniture. Furniture account, ADC. debit. Yeah. DR means debit. Yeah, Next debit. line, leave some space. What should I write? Space in cash. Cash, good. Cash account. And amount is how much? Uh, thousand. Thousand dollar debit and thousand dollar credit. Yes. Always both amount will be equal. Debit amount column and credit amount column will be equal only. Okay. Then after that, let me write short, short description. Furniture purchased. Done. And after writing description, we will put one line in this discount, uh, this detail column. Understood? Yep. Yeah. Now tell me third transition, Jan 5th. I have done third transition on Jan 5th. Purchase goods for cash to... Purchase goods thousand. for cash. Now so, tell me what happened. So cash. Cash. cash so and second and item is goods, right? Yes. Yeah. Understood so the my cash point. will decrease. Now wait, wait, wait. Cash is which category? Asset. And goods is expense, which okay expense reason why can you tell me what is the difference between furniture and goods? In previous transaction, uh, I brought furniture. Just hold on. In previous transaction, I brought what furniture, right? Mm -hmm. And in this yeah. next transaction, I brought what goods? Any difference? Good. What is the? Difference? I think furniture. You. It's just for your uh, for your um, you. business. business so you want I didn't buy this furniture for resale purpose, right? For goods, it's resale purpose. Yes, this is the difference. So as I am going to I am going to sell these goods. So these goods are goods are not asset. Goods are considered as what? Expense. What is the category? Expense, correct. Understood? Yeah. Goods, goods will be considered as an expense, right? Mm -hmm. Now tell me yeah. which is increasing, which is decreasing. Cash is decreasing, expense, expense is increasing. Good. Cash is decreasing, expense is decreasing. So increase in expense, debit, right? Rule says now increase, whenever there is an increase yep. in expense, debit, and decrease in asset, credit, yeah. right? Credit. Yeah. So now yep. I will record this. Which is the debit item? Uh, goods. Right. goods, but we never write goods. In place of goods, I will write what? Purchase. Purchase. Purchase, I will tell you why. Purchase account debit. Now, which is the credit item? Cash. Cash. I will write cash. Amount how much? Uh, 2,000. 2,000 here also and here also. And let me write the short description. Goods purchased. 
I hope understood. Yeah. Now let me tell you why I didn't write goods. In place of goods, I am writing what? What what I wrote in place of goods? Purchase. Purchase. Now tell me. See, there are six, five nicknames for good. Goods. What are the nicknames? Purchase, mm -hmm. sales, purchase, return, sales, return. And inventory. These are the five names. We yeah. never write goods. In place of goods, we will use any one of these five names. Okay. So right now I brought goods, right? Yeah. So I will write purchase. When I will sell goods, I will use which term? Uh sales. Sales. When purchased goods, I am returning back to the supplier. Which term I will use? Purchase return. Purchase return. When customers say return goods to us, we will use which sales one? Return. Sales return. And the remaining event, remaining goods is known as what? Inventory. Inventory. Let me tell you. Suppose I brought 100 goods, 100 units. Out of that, 80 units I sold. So how many units left? Uh, 20. 20. So these 20 will be known as what? Inventory. Inventory. Understood my point? These yeah. 100 units will be known as what? Purchase. 80 sold. So this will be known as sales. Remaining 20 is known mm -hmm. as inventory. Understood my point? Yep. So how many nicknames are there? Five. Five. Got it? Yep. So whenever I buy goods, I will write purchase. Whenever I sell goods, I will write sales. Like that purchase return, sale return and inventory. So third transaction we have recorded, right? Yep. Now now read out the next read out the seventh Jan seventh. First we will record the Jan seventh one. Okay. So all just, goods for cash. Just a, minute, to just a minute. Let me increase this. Insert. Shift uh, cell down. Yeah. Read out Jan seven. So all goods for cash two thousand five hundred. Now tell me, this I am recording, okay? This I will record later on. So tell me what happened, which two items affected? Uh, goods and cash. Goods and cash, good, great. Now tell me, goods are what? Assets. No, 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 goods are expense, right? Oh, sorry, right. goods are expense. But right now what you are doing, you are selling goods now? Yeah. So it will be treated as? Like revenue. Oh, revenue. revenue. Understood? Mm -hmm. When you are selling goods, it will be treated as what? What is revenue? Revenue means it is source of income for you. Oh, okay. Okay. So when you buy goods, it is expense. When you sell goods, it is? Revenue. Revenue. Revenue means you are earning. So mm -hmm. uh, imagine uh, uh, <coughs> you are studying in school, right? Yeah. So you will pay fees to the school, isn't it? Yeah. So that fees is revenue for the school, yeah. isn't it? And whatever okay. I charge to uh, for online classes, that is revenue for me. Yeah. Expense for the students. Mm -hmm. Understood my point? Yep. Yeah. So I got cash and I sold goods. So cash is asset and here goods I am selling. So goods is known as what? Revenue. Right? Yeah. Now yeah. tell me which is increasing, which is decreasing. So cash is increasing, but this is decreasing. Cash is increasing, right? Yeah, so debit and uh, revenue. Revenue also increasing, no? In how? Your income is revenue. You, you sold goods. Of course, business revenue will increase or decrease. Oh, yeah, it's going to increase. So credit. Revenue will increase. Now. Don't see these items. Don't see the category. Yeah. Asset increasing, debit. Business revenue, you sold goods, of course, business revenue will also increase, right? Yeah. So increase in revenue, what? Uh, credit. credit. Understood, because revenue are on which side of the equation? Uh, revenue is, that, no? is on the credit. Right hand side, right? Yeah. Accounting okay. equation, let me write again here. Assets plus expense is equal to liability plus capital 
plus revenue. Yeah. Okay, revenue is on credit side. Mm -hmm. Agree? Yeah, this capital liability, capital and revenue are on right hand side and right hand side is known as credit side. Got it? Mm -hmm. So now tell me, uh, okay, so first debit item is asset, right? Yep. Cash is asset, so I will write cash. So cash account debit, tell me the amount. Uh, two, 2,500. 2,500. Now I will record credit item. Tell me what should I write? A uh, credit item is good. No, but then you have to write sales. Yes, I will use this term. This nickname I will use, sales account, 2500. And narration is what? Sold, uh, goods. that's sold. all. Narration is over. Okay, understood my point? Yep. Yeah, now I am going to record this Jan 6th. What is the transaction? Read out. Uh, paid carriage 200. Paid carriage. Now tell me the items. First, you tell me the items. What is carriage? Carriage is uh, transportation charges. Oh. Okay. Suppose you brought goods uh, from uh, one city. Suppose I am in Jaipur right, right now and I am buying goods from Delhi. Yeah. So I need to pay transport people some charges, na? Yeah. So that charges is known as what? Carriage. Because yeah. those transport people, they are carrying my product from Delhi to Jaipur. Now I have to pay them some money. That is known mm -hmm. as carriage. Got it? Yeah. Now tell me which two items affected? Cash. Cash. Second one is? Goods. No, we are not buying goods now. Service? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Second. Carriage, carriage. Oh, carriage. Carriage, it's given in transaction itself, right? Yeah. Now tell me their category. So cash is asset. Cash and is asset. Carriage is? Carriage is expense. Excellent. Carriage is expense. Now tell yeah. me asset increasing, decreasing. Asset is decreasing. Decrease in asset, credit. Credit and then expenses increasing, so debit. Excellent. Increase in expense, debit. Got it? Yeah. Yep. Now let, let me write it Jan 6th. So first I will record debit item. Which is the debit item? Uh, a carriage. Good. So carriage account debit. How much money? Uh, 200. Good. And it, what should I write now? Credit item, no? so cash account. How much money? $200. And I will write the narration word paid carriage. Yes. Paid carriage. Okay, after writing that, I have to put one line. Tell me any doubt in this? Nope. Hmm? Nope. Understood how to record? Yes. So yes. let me ask some questions. Let me see how. What is the attention span? Okay, who uh, who maintains journal? Who maintains journal? The where where which which businesses which kind of business? Oh, small business small businesses. Business. Why? Because uh, they only need one one notebook to keep all their tasks because they don't have that many transactions. Good. Okay. Next, you tell me. Uh, assets are on which side of the equation? Assets are on the debit side of the equation. Good. Revenue is, is on which side? Credit. Okay, good. And uh, how many columns are there in general? Uh, four. Four? Good. Yeah. So far four, but actually there are five columns. The fifth column I will tell you later on. That actually okay. we don't use. For, ex in a, for exam point of view, we don't use that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next. How many nicknames are there for goods? Five. 
name a uh, per purchase mm -hmm. uh sale sales okay. purchase return sales return inventory good so and we never write goods remember when we record transaction yeah. in books na we never ever write goods either we will write purchase or sales purchase yeah. return or sales return or inventory right okay yeah what, what do you mean by inventory is uh when you when you store the goods so you don't sell it or you don't purchase what? it you just store no, the remaining units which is not sold yet yeah my year full one year is over okay yeah. and still some goods are unsold and those mm -hmm. unsold items are known as what inventory yeah right yep what is carriage what is carriage um it's basically the transportation charges yes so it is expense or revenue expense it is expense for the business good okay when we sell goods business mm -hmm. will have expense or revenue uh revenue and the name of that revenue is what income uh -huh. sales oh sales yeah got it yeah so understood transaction the yeah. moment we do transaction we have to do this analysis first we mm -hmm. need to identify the items then we need to identify their category and after that we need to decide debit and credit so yes. these are the items these are the category so category either it will increase or decrease depending on that that we will decide whether we need to debit or credit the item yeah i hope understood yes okay now let me do some more transaction are you ready yep any doubt so far tell me any confusion no okay let me ask one more question what is narration uh narration oh it's the small description you write at the end of every transaction yes at the end of after entry entry means they recording debit item and credit item and after recording yeah. both the debit and credit item we will record we write a short description that is called what yeah. narration, narration. okay yeah understood yeah okay now my next step next step is uh, how to recording of credit transactions so do you know the meaning of this recording of credit transactions um what, what do you mean by credit here credit is the right hand side no no, no. So this is this credit is not that one wait oh. let me, i will tell you this credit is different one. okay is it like the loan or something we take no no, no. i will tell you i will tell you. credit means uh, suppose you sold goods and the customer didn't pay you he told that i will pay you after the two days yeah so that is what credit, credit. it means payment is not done payment yeah. is pending okay suppose you brought goods and the supplier is asking money but you said no sir i don't have money now i will pay you after one week so it is credit purchase yeah brought goods but the payment is not done payment will be done when today or Later. after few days yeah after few days after few days so that is called credit transaction yeah got it yep a credit transaction means when goods are purchased or sold but not on cash basis mm -hmm. payment will be done in future yeah okay. i hope understood that yep yeah just a minute now today we are going to learn that that what is okay. uh, how to identify credit transaction okay yeah. now right now tell me this fifth gen what happened in fifth gen 
Tell me which is increasing, which is decreasing. Uh, so goods is increasing, expense liability is increasing. Increase in expense, debit, liability increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Good. Because earlier you owe nothing. Yeah. Before purchase, you owe nothing to the supplier, but now you owe money to the supplier, na? Yeah. So credit. Increase in liability, credit. So now okay. I am going to record this Jan 6th. So which is the debit item? Tell me. Uh, debit item is goods, but this in this case, it's going to be a purchase. Excellent. Purchase account debit. And credit item is which one? Uh, a trade payable. Yes, I would like trade payable. Payable means I need to pay the money to that person. Yes. So amount is how much? Thousand dollars and thousand. Mm -hmm. I hope it is clear. Yes, it's clear. So narration purchase goods on account. Done. Any yeah. doubt, any problem? Nope. If I would have if I, I had purchased these goods on cash basis, so rather writing trade payable, I would have written here cash. Cash. But I brought these goods on cash credit basis now, so I can't write mm -hmm. cash. In place of cash, I need to write trade payable. Trade. Okay. Yep. Now I am going to record this month, the Jan eighth transaction. Read out what is the Jan eighth transaction? Sold goods on account five hundred dollars. Now tell me which items are affected? Which items affected? Goods and goods trade and trade. revenue now. Yeah. Sorry, Sales. goods and uh, uh, revenue. No, 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 on account. Goods is revenue only. Second item is the name of the customer. Na? Yeah. You sold goods to mm -hmm. one person. He didn't pay you money. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. So now you need to record the name of that person, right? Otherwise, you will forget that from whom you have yeah. to collect the money. Yeah. So the name of the person, is the name is clear given? No. Not now. So I will use one common word. Trade. Table. Trade what? Table. Receivable. Oh, receivable. You have to receive money now from that person. Yeah. Yeah. So goods is which category? Revenue. Revenue. We are revenue now because we are selling goods, right? Yeah. And trade receivable? Asset. Asset. Yeah. Trade payable was liability. In previous transaction, it was liability, right? Yeah. In this transaction, it will be asset. Mm -hmm. Now tell me which is increasing, which is decreasing? Revenue is increasing. And increasing asset. revenue, credit. Asset also increasing now? Increasing, yeah. Because in future, you will be getting money. Yeah. But now, in future, that person will pay you. So, increase in asset, debit. Right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. first, I will record debit item. Which is the debit item? Uh, trade receivables. Yeah. Trade. Trade receivables. And the credit item is which one? Sales, no? Revenue. Yes. I, can't, I will oh, not take good. goods. In place of goods, yeah. I will take sales. So how much yeah. money? $500, $500. And narration, I will write what? Sold goods on account. Tell me any problem. Um, wait, so for if we write sales, we don't write AC. Okay. No, no, no. This term, five nicknames I have given. Na? Yeah. You can't write income or some other name. Sales. Yeah. Specific term you have to use. Sale. We are selling goods. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me any doubt. No. So today's what is your takeaway? What did you understand? Uh, I learned new definitions such as pay, trade payable, trade receivable, okay. and then I learned how to record. Credit. To record Wait. credit transaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is our main discussion today, right? And yep. we discuss one more point narration. What is narration? 
narration is a short description after transaction after, after, after the interview with the great item we write short description that short description is known as what uh narration, narration. right I'll yeah. just a minute i trade receivable account debit now imagine sold goods on account to mohan mm -hmm. if it is written like this sold goods then on account to mohan then instead i know the name now instead of trade receivable i will write what mohan's mm -hmm. account i hope yeah. understood yep like this purchase goods on account from yukti yeah dollar thousand so in place of trade payable i will write yukti's account purchase account debit yukti's account yeah credit mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. if if we don't know the name then that common term we will use trade payable yeah. or trade receivable. receivable i hope understood yep okay now trade payable is asset or liability trade payable is liability payable see the word payable you have to pay so that is not something good yeah. it is a liability receivable yeah. means you have yeah. to receive money in future so that is yeah that asset that is asset. asset i hope understood yep okay okay now i am giving you transaction tell me it is cash transaction or credit transaction okay okay, okay. purchase goods for cash uh cash okay purchase goods on account uh credit transaction sold goods for cash cash sold goods on account credit credit right yeah so i will give you one assignment today based on today's learning yeah okay so you will is that fine or shall i leave the assignment you might um, be, i don't mind i can do it I you, you might be getting homework from your school also um I think I, this week is actually quite free because it's um, just activity. So I think I can manage. In the school, they started accounting. No, that's only going to start in September. Okay, September when you go to the new class. Yeah. Right now you are in grade eight, right? Grade nine. And grade nine, and they didn't start accounting. What is this? <laughs> because not... accounting is optional. Uh, oh. Basically, we have. streams so only in your 10 we pick subjects so okay. before that we don't have accounting so i only pick the accounting in your 10 okay 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 which school you are studying uh elc international school elc yeah okay 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 no problem so i hope understood today's class very fine yep i i have done the recording of the class also i will upload on uh, youtube and i will share the link okay. with you okay, okay so you can revise also and uh, are you fine if i give some little assignment yeah sure i don't mind no problem na yeah okay so now any doubt you can discuss whatever we this today we have learned we have done this um, identification we have done mm -hmm. understood i hope you understood what is identification yep yeah and the recording uh, today i taught you recording okay yep. recording where mm -hmm. we will do uh on in a journal or they do recording where journals or book of business, they do recording where book of prime entry books of prime entry how many are there a uh, six six so first today right now today we have discussed only journal so for once yeah. we will uh, master in journal and if you mm -hmm. i guarantee you if you master in journal you know no one able to defeat you in accounting accounting you will feel like a very easy subject easy subject if you master this yeah. journal entries okay. okay so we will give a significant time 
to learn and understand these uh, journal entries right okay yep can you tell me what is accounting equation asset plus expenses equals liabilities plus capital plus revenue hmm. so this is entire accounting is based on this equation liability capital and revenue credit side asset and expense debit side and yep. increase decrease you understood what are the rules right yeah mm -hmm. oh. okay then fine for today's class and shortly i will email you the assignment okay 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 bye take care thank you bye bye bye